Hey Tom, Panafrog here. Today I'm trying to pick and guard this Isis lock. It is a red belt. And well, it has a lot of tapered pins. So let's see if we can get this one open. In a timely fashion, not taking too long and afterwards I will gut it and hopefully reassemble it. So I built this little tool for tensioning. If you see the key, got this little notch here, which like turns the core. It's a tubular with uh, tapered pins, so let's let's go it. Let's try it. Oh, I did use the key before, right? Because I wanna, if the time is good, I wanna I wanna put it in for speed picking as well. So. Little taps, very slow little taps, a lot of taps, this might take a while, I've done it in, in like three minutes before, three minutes was my fastest time, so I've picked this one like three times, and you have just to go from hole to hole, The hardest part is not to overset one of the tapered pins. I ask around for some tips not on how not to overset. And the best tip was just don't do it, just don't overset. Thanks, Adri Logic. It was the best tip all year long now. can hear the tapping. I believe you're close. You haven't overset yet. You're about two minutes in to picking here. Right, so was that one is definitely set. Pretty good. Set or overset, I don't know. I think we are now we're open. All right, about under three minutes. Nice. So I'm gonna remove the tensioning tool. No, I'm gonna leave it in. Problem is I can't turn too far because then it will lock again. Because it's a tube lock. Alright, so but you can see it does rotate freely. I will lock it up in a second. And then you see the difference. All right, let me lock it back up. All right, now it's locked. And you see it is, it is, it was picked. All right, so let me zoom out because I really don't want to leave the frame. Give me some tools here. Nice thing on this lock, you just can like Remove this little clip here. Let me switch the focus to this point. Mm. 
and then carefully take the core out. And you already see some pins here. And the rest is in here. So let me remove it. Oh, this stacked. They're basically all the same, so it doesn't really matter. This this kind. This one is longer, and I believe it was on the outside. Yeah. And so, as you can see, in here, there are the, the key pins. These are the drivers. Um, so the springs are still in here. I'm going to remove them really quick for you. So we got the springs out. So now you see it like a revolver. We're gonna push out the pins now. Basically what I like to do is uh, take the picking tool and just push one pin out and I know where it goes. Take it out. Take the next one. And this one has a ball and a pin. Okay, next one, number three, just a pin. Number four, I think it's a ball. Yeah, it is. And the ball is in the next hole. There it is. So we got a ball and we got a driver, a uh, key, sorry. And I think we also got a ball here. Yeah, the ball is still in. There it is. Come on, come here. We organize this and then I will zoom in. Because now I have picked it, and uh, now I have gutted it, so it did not leave the frame, so we're fine. So here, the, here you see the like the holes where the pins are in. This is the side I've, I've picked, and a lot of tabs, and you can really this one, and just like the revolver on the other side, which goes in here. But it's not that hard. Here yeah, are the
Here are all the pins. You can see the tapering and well. It is a fun pick. Takes some time, but it's fun. All right, let's get back this. Uh, let's get it back together. So we're loading the springs first. Oh, I'm sorry. <coughs> loading the springs pretty quickly. Then I'm going to set every pin at a time afterwards. I will test the key before I put it all together so I know they are the, the depth is good. Now we got a ball again. A little tricky to get in. Now I put in the wrong hole. Now it's in the right one. It's a little. You have to get used to the. With a little training, it's not too hard to to repin it or reassemble it, but yeah, it can get annoying if you like progressive pick it, uh, pin it. But it's also good training. I wish I had different tweezers for this job. All right, now you see they're all like different depth. They're not flush. So what I like to do is use the key and see if I put everything back in correctly. So this should be flush and they are not. See, so I got a problem there. I'm... See, this one is too deep. This one is too shallow. So I guess I need to switch over this. Of course, with this tube lock, you never know if you really. It is easy to switch up the 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 pins. You know, got the wrong pin in the wrong hole. And then the key doesn't work and. With this one is no problem because you just can open it up, it doesn't matter. So that now is flush, so the other pin I really switched up once. Alright. So let's see. Now everything should be flush and it is. Oh, this should work. Alright, now to the hardest part, reassembling. You have to get in the pins. So you can load it like this. The last one is a little difficult because the spring is longer. But you can like put it in. I have to. Yeah, this is this one. Just can set it in.
All right, now very carefully. I believe the one got loose again. No, it's good. It's fine. All right, strange. Again. All right, now we got it. And we use our little clip to secure it. And hopefully the key does work now. No, it does not because we switch one thing. So we gotta remove it really quickly. I believe one of the key pins is wrong. All right, again, let's try it again. That one came loose. Still doesn't work. Hmm. Well, I will figure it out. <laughs> Which one? That's strange. That is very strange, I don't know why. That just should work. Eh, where is it? There's a plate. Nope. That doesn't really matter, to be honest, because... No, they're not... Not completely flush. Damn it. I missed something. That was one with a ball bearing. So, <clears throat> I think I figured it out. So that's why you have to be very careful with this lock because you very easily can just like mix it up. 
where it doesn't belong. Very, very easy. And then you can do this this little test I did, which usually usually it works. Sorry for me, uh, it takes so long, but hey. Yeah, it looks better. So now, finally, for the last time, let's get it back together. Without losing a pen, please. Oh, shit. There it is. Yeah, there we go. All right, we had two pins. Uh, Two of the key pins were wrong, but I think it was a learning experience, and we got a working key. This is the Isis French High Security Tube Lock. Thanks for watching. Um, see you next time. Bye bye.